Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today in this video I'm gonna show how to automate your Windows backup, sync files, folders, clone drives and much more with Minitools Shadow Maker. Minitools Shadow Maker is a light software and minimum system requirement is 1GHz processor, 1GB RAM for 32-bit OS, 2GB RAM for 64-bit OS and 1.5GB free disk space. Also, it supports almost all Windows operating systems starting from Windows XP and Windows servers as well. Minitools Shadow Maker supports various file systems and also supports almost all storage devices that can be recognized by Windows. Windows also have backup options, but it doesn't provide flexibility. For example, the backup image created from a computer won't be usable on any other one. And here comes a great software, Shadow Maker, from Minitool. Shadow Maker is a professional backup tool that provides data protection services and disaster recovery solutions for PCs, servers, and workstations. Here, you can see some of its great features. To download, click on free trial, an installer will be downloaded. After downloading the installer, open it. And continue installation, likewise any software. After installation is completed, a web page will open, and from here, you can opt for any package, according to your preference, or need. Minitool provides 30 days trial. Now, click on Start Now, to start Shadow Maker. And here's the Shadow Maker dashboard. Before proceeding, if you plan to backup anything on external drive, please make sure to plug it in before starting Shadow Maker. Click on Setup Backup, to get started with Shadow Maker. Now, click on Source and, then select the source. The source can be disks and partitions, or also can be files and folders. After selecting the source, choose your destination path. During the process of backup, you can set some advanced parameters for every new backup task by clicking Options button at the lower right corner. During the backup process, you can set image creation mode. Two modes are displayed. First is, only use sector backup which only copies the sectors used by the file system. This mode can reduce the total backup image file size as well as the backup time. Second one is sector by sector backup, which make an exact copy of the partitions. Both used and unused sectors are backed up. This mode won't change a forensic examination of the partitions, and even the deleted files may be recovered. Moving to the next tab, which is file size. This option enables to specify the way of splitting a large image file into multiple smaller files during the process of backup. Moving to the next tab, which is compression. This option enables you to compress the file size to save storage space. Please note that compression reduces the file size, but may increase the total backup time. If you choose the medium compression option, data will be compressed moderately. This is the default data compression level. If you choose none, data will be imaged without any compression, which may increase the backup file size. And if you choose the high compression option, this compression level will take a long time to create a backup, and the image file size is smaller than the other two levels. Coming to comments. This option allows you to add comments to the backup, which is especially helpful to distinguish it from other backups when you are recovering data using the bootable media. Also, with Shadow Maker, you can enable email notifications. By enabling email notification, Minitool Shadow Maker will send an email to inform you whether the backup task is successful or failed when the backup operation is finished. Next is excluding. This option allows you to exclude some unnecessary items from a backup. Next is shutdown. This option enables to shut down the computer when a backup is finished. If you know the backup progress will take a long time, it is recommended to check this option. In this case, you don't need to wait until the backup operation is completed. And then this program will perform the backup and turn off your computer automatically. Next is password option. By checking enable password protection, you can add password protection to a specific backup. Three data encryption levels are provided for your choice. And at last, a verify option is there. By checking verify backup after creation option, you can check the integrity of the backup immediately after the backup completes. But keep in mind that this may add a significant amount of time to the backup progress. After configuring your drive image, you can also schedule your backup. Schedule setting is user-friendly for those who are used to making a backup on a regular basis. When clicking schedule button, you see this feature is disabled by default. Just switch off to on, then you see Minitool Shadow Maker offers 4 ways to customize schedule backup. If you've scheduled your backup process, it will complete the backup process without interruption. Moreover, you can also choose the kind of scheme of backup you want. Here are three options, you can opt for one of them, which suits you the best. Also, you can set the numbers of the backup image you want to have. After configuring everything, click on Backup Now to initiate the backup process. And your backup will be completed in a while, depending on your source size and speed of source and destination drive. Once the backup process is done, you'll be notified. 
After backing up, you can still edit or can change the properties for your current and future backups. Moreover, you can mount the drive image and can browse it. Talking about the other feature than a wonderful and flexible backup tool, Shadow Maker also provides a sync process. Sync process is a very simple process of syncing your selected folder to any other driver folder. With this feature, the process of copying files regularly will be totally eliminated. And your data will be 100% safe. And as usual, you can customize and configure the options for sync as well. And after configuring, clicking on sync now will initiate the syncing process. Once the sync is completed, you'll be notified. From the manage tab, you can manage all the backups and syncs. Moving to the logs tab, you'll have all the logs of activities and status. Here's not the end. Shadow Maker also has some tools. Tool for creating bootable USB, cloning drive and more. Mini Tool Media Builder offers a perfect solution to create bootable media based on Windows pre-installation environment, or WinP, which provides better compatibility with your computer's hardware. With Mini Tool Media Builder, it is possible to restore the operating system to the previous state, even when your computer fails to boot. Clone is another useful feature of Mini Tool Shadow Maker, which is significant for hard drive upgrading. A big difference between disk clone and disk image is that when you clone a disk, you can directly use it after the operation, while you will have to restore a disk image before you can use it directly. Mini Tool Shadow Maker even can help you to clone the dynamic disk. To start cloning, choose which disk to clone, which means selecting the source disk, and where to store the copy, which means selecting the destination drive. Confirm that you want to start the task and wait for the process to finish. When disk cloning is finished successfully, you will see the following message. This means both the source disk and the target disk have the same signature, thus you need to disconnect or remove either of them. In addition, if you want to boot your computer from the target disk, you need to change the BIOS settings. So that was all about this wonderful Shadow Maker, if you want to know more, check out the provided links below. Opt for Shadow Maker, if you want a hassle-free backup solution, as the free version has some limitations. Thanks for watching and, have a great day ahead.